Quicksand is a Swedish crime drama on Netflix. Now, this series follows a girl who is involved in a violent altercation at her school. Is this the foreign language version of Primal Fear? I don't know. Well, actually, I do know. I'm just not going to spoil it for you. The series opens in the aftermath of just this violence that erupts at a school, and one girl is brought into custody, and her name is Maya. This series is really a character study about a group of teenagers who have very little oversight or responsibility. One of the main characters is Sebastian, and he is just an uber-rich teenager. I mean, he has nothing but money, but his dad is never there. I mean, his dad is not present, his dad doesn't care about him, at least what we see on screen. He could really care less, and his dad always is leaving him, and thus, the, this teenage boy with nothing but unlimited funds has just lavish parties and he does unimaginable amounts of drugs and alcohol and just, you know, lives life to excess with nobody going, hey, you, you kind of should stop this or you're going down a bad path. Maya is our protagonist and we meet her at the very beginning of the series. As the shot opens up, we're seeing bodies laid about and they're just all bloody and we hear some talking and some sobbing and, and you know screaming in the background and sirens blaring. And Maya is the sole survivor, at least that we know of right now, of this school just violence. She falls for Sebastian and their relationship is just wildly unhealthy and totally codependent. And as a parent, I mean, I'm horrified at the position she finds herself in. When I watch foreign series and films, I'm always intrigued at just the cultural differences. I mean, in this in particular, I was shocked at how very little parental oversight all of these kids seem to have, especially the ones that would go to the parties and really the ones that we focus on, which are Maya and Sebastian. And I don't know if that is really true of Swedish culture or not. So, I mean, if you have firsthand knowledge of that culture, I would love to know, is our parents really hands off or is this just like played out for dramatic effect? I can't believe that they are so hands off as the series shows, but I can see to some degree that, you know, they, they treat their children with a certain level of responsibility and with some maturity to let them make some more of their decisions. And I know that outside of the US, drinking ages are different and just, you know, the whole culture is different. So watching this really intrigues me to find out how true is it or is it really played up for just the dramatic element? So as a result of the violence that happens at the school, a trial then ensues. And that is really the modern or the current time telling of the series. And everything else is told in a series of flashbacks. Now the series itself is only six episodes. I don't think there's gonna be a season two. I mean, the way that it wrapped up, it had a conclusion and a finality to it. Now, yes, I could see them continuing on. I really hope they don't. But that being said too, the story is super interesting and the characters, while I didn't like them, I was drawn to them and I wanted to find out more and more of what is going on and what led to this. And like I said at the very beginning, the series has a potential to take a primal fear type of ending. But do they take it? Because of the decisions that the kids make and just the violence that ensues and just the overall deterioration of choices, it makes it tough to watch, but it is very intriguing. The story is very engaging. It's well shot. The characters are well acted. And because of that, I think that you will end up enjoying the journey that we go on. As far as family friendliness goes, this one runs the gamut. There is sex, nudity, drugs, profanity, and violence. I give Quicksand four and a half out of five couches. What's the best foreign language or non-English language series on Netflix right now? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe. I'm Chris. This is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for catching with me.